so I won't have to worry too much. I'll just keep him pegged in. He can try to besiege it all he wants. Aragon is sieging Milan, yeah. Oh, thank God they ditched Roma. And that's, uh, that's not going to go well for us. It may look like Aragorn's in this war, but we were morale all around. Come on, Naples, you red-headed stepchild. Put your back into it. You weren't worth the 40-something aggressive expansion I spanked you for. Take most advantage. No, that's that's Portuguese heavy, so I don't want to swarm them even with uh, even with my own pro uh, ships. Still, Portugal is writhing in pain down there. England are very close to wanting out. We can do something pretty pretty deft shortly, and everything will run in our favour. Jake, your general will uh, will use Granada's general. The other guy needs to be sieging. Okay, you make a good point. I said we don't need to kill England. It's only going to hurt us more. England will be out of this war soon enough. I should be glad that he's sieging that up and chewing on the war exhaustion. Jake, get a second general. You're rolling in mill points. I don't know, man. Good, they're focusing on Naples instead of me. What isn't so good is the war exhaustion that's giving me. 0.16 per month, and that's not going to improve when Provence falls. Oh, not at all. Gee, Aragon. You would really fight Savoy in the hills for me? Tech parity, granted. Ah, you have too shocked to offset it. Well, you got five days to arrive there. You're not going to arrive there in five days. I think it's going to fall in time. But England still don't want out. In fact, they're feeling pretty gutsy. All right, England. Feel the pain. Damn, don't underestimate the uh, holy orders here. He seems to have liked that massa. Again, he'll be there on the 22nd. I can't make it there in time, so I have to go directly there. So, I'm going to do what we did before. We have just enough time to meet him in Alcante. Now, either gain papal influence that I can't use, or gain stability. Good ching, that's all I can say. There, how you like that, England? I am slapping you, silly. Alright. Mantua, I now fully guarantee your independence. Because I'm a nice guy, understand? Oh, he's really going for it. Gee, speaking of going for it, I can't... Uh, can't not help my red-headed stepchild in an inland sea when they're taking on heavies. Jake Admin is near cap. I'll keep my eye on it. Thanks. Portuguese heavies. Oh, jeez, I just saw the English fleet. It would be foolish of me to engage when we're so close. That's what a madman would say. Because I think it's time that England got out of here. Although if I held out for just a little bit longer, I wouldn't have to pay them off either. Tell me, England, what are you even interested in if I were to offer you? I quite like having Austria on my side, though. I'm not about to give anything. You'd want war reparations. I'm not even sure how much that would be. I'd lose about a ducat a month for 10 years. Is it 10 years or as long as the truce goes on? 
but I'm essentially paying off war exhaustion with that, so I think it's a good deal. I mean, who wouldn't want to pay off war exhaustion with money? God, this is taking too long. I'll try and snipe them in Almeria. They're still going for Almeria with their heavies and lights. We'll meet them. And do glorious battle in an inland sea. That's a nice touch, means we can do the Canaries at long last. Morocco, you can claim it all you want, but you're not having it. Also, I think we will increase autonomy there. I don't want to be dealing with any uh, Castilian revolts, especially not on island. Jake, sleek, sleek one merc on Longshanks. Oil and loot. <laughs> Longshanks. I like it, but perhaps not the greatest plan. Who am I kidding? It's an amazing plan. Just one boat, that's all it takes. Alright, transports. Activate Shank. Only cost to us of uh, one galley to... Yes. Fall, my tears. So yeah, long shanks. How much of a navy does Portugal still have? One heavy? One heavy would s cause me problems. He lifted siege on Provence. What a bro Aragon is. I love this guy. What a guy indeed. Now if I were to vassalize Tuscany through all of this, we're looking at monster aggressive expansion in the HRE, so let's not do that. But I can re-humiliate them. It's been a wee while. They need to kiss the ring. Revolts for Castile. You're coring that land. You are also coring. Oh boy. Things are going well. I like it. Jake, if you look for your navy, it's at the bottom of the sea. You got that right. Wow. 755 five people. I really think that is a uh, record here. Hmm. England are all uh, all up in my face. All right, we'll give it a couple of months though, then we'll get them out of here. War exhaustion, sure, it's a little bad, but it'll be okay. It's just tons of occupied land. Yeah, we're going full cheese here. Thanks a bunch, Mantua, for chewing up my dip slots. I just don't want to pay England any ducat sake. That's good. They'll want out now. So England is minus 57. Savoy is minus 52. And MLO, well, they're currently getting... Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, Milan, you can have Mantua's trade power. Savoy, I'm a generous guy, but I also believe that sharing is caring. You can also have Mantuan trade power. And, oh jeez, that land's being Tuscanified, isn't it? It's not actually going to reduce my war exhaustion at all here. England, I'm a fair man. Longshanks, you can also have Mantua's trade power. Everybody's getting Mantua's trade power. So, there we go. Milan has it. Savoy has it. England has it. It's a bad time to be Mantua. And now, with England out of this war... What am I even thinking here? What I'm thinking is I need my boats. At least my transports are okay. If my transports weren't okay, then I'd be in a world of hurt. So, no longer attached to me. Vassals, this is the time to go full-on aggression. Aragon's still in this war. I have a feeling they're going to uh, go down and smash the Tuscans for me. But what I also need to do is take these islands. So, 
you guys, you mercs, are costing me money that I don't have. Away you go. One, two, one, two. Split in half. What the heck did I just do in there? And. Onwards. Let's just hope we don't get caught. Because that'd be bad. <laughs> Jake, because of you, Machu is having to pay the trade. Oh, yeah, you gotta pay for the privilege. You want trading in cloth for cheaper mercs? Well, you're gonna have to fight for it. Okay, so they're going to. Oh, jeez, it's uh, their EQ World Conquest all over again. Okay, well that's clearly not going to work. They're going south for the coast of Morocco. But that doesn't guarantee that they're not going to try and save the Azor. Buggery. Well, they might still go bankrupt if we just hold out for a bit. Oh, that's actually pretty good though if he ties his troops up there. The unfortunate thing is, now my uh, transports are tied up what few of them I actually have. Andalusia, activate COG. Aragon, activate destroy Tuscany. You cowards! At least Naples has the Gajones. This says uh, war exhaustion is hurting though we're actually going to pay it down. At least it's cheaper for us to do so. May as well pay it down all the way since it's costing us quite a lot of uh, rebellions. And hey, we're flooded with dip power, so. Nothing really lost there. And let's get that Algarve all done. This is really helping us financially, though. Savella's power is all ours. Jake, take the damn African province from Portugal. I don't wanna. Not even distant overseas for them, but it would be for me. Besides, it would be a revolting mess. Whoa, hey, I didn't tell everyone to go there. Get out. Hold out in Andalusia. three shipments of men, maybe more, to go over there and deal with uh, Tuscany. But if I peace out with Tuscany right now, well, I think we know what would happen there. Aragon would decide that now is the time to help Portugal. Then again, I could, uh, I've got plenty of war score. I could deal with Portugal here and now. There'll still be a colonizing pain in the, uh, the rear end, though. Porto would have to go to me. I need that estuary. I need all these uh, these trade places for myself. And the rest really can go to Galicia. And this stuff down here, I don't even want it. Granada can have it. I'm sure they won't have any problems, right? Yeah, no problems. Their Miltech is garbage, though. I can take care of their reps for them. They cord up both these provinces quite nicely. So I give them Alentejo and Algarve. Galicia gets Coimbra. I take Porto. The difficulty there is that I don't have much room to manoeuvre, do I? Let's figure it out then. You can always transfer the war goal though. Like, I mean, I could give it to Naples right now, obviously I don't want to. Well, there's a the thought. Why even give it to Granada? They would just have rebel problems since they're the wrong religion. I could give it to Galicia. They would end up getting 6, 10, 17. What do you think? Granada? Or Galicia? Jake, Portugal still love you, if only they knew. Poor them. Jake, don't you need the Isles? 
Yeah, but they're a bit inaccessible right now, and we can always come back for a round two with Portugal. All things considered, I might have to go exploration with my second idea, just so I can hunt down the Portuguese scum overseas. I do not, I hate, I hate colonizing, it's just so dull. Not that it's that dull, I've just done it so many times that I have, it has dulled to me. Okay, I have an idea. Everybody, get over to Braganza. That's an order. Lisboa needs to fall so that I can take everything I want, though. This idea is so clever, I'm almost scared of myself for thinking it up. Huh, perhaps it won't be necessary. Aragorn found their balls. And Jake, Naples want it. I know Naples want it. Oh, jeez, we could just assault this, save everyone to bother. If it doesn't fall next tech, we assault. Heck, maybe I put my Pope in charge. So we can become courier controller. So long, men. Heck, we have mill points to burn, what are you complaining about? Alright, everybody up to Braganza, that's an order. Remember, our goal is to wipe out Christianity, so I'm having to do moves that are very, very sub uh, suboptimal here. Jake, guarantee on Mantua. Thanks for the heads up. They're costing me dip. Now. 7 and 4 and 6, 14. But I might give that to you as well. 21, I know it might be a bit heavy on the everything with your considerably better military tech than me. If I give it to Granada, they'll have more revolts. Alternatively, I could take it for myself. Well, I don't want Braganza. Separating Lisboa is a pretty good one, though. Ah, Granada or Galicia. How am I meant to make these difficult choices? Oh, everyone hates me for this, especially Portugal. They still love me, though. They'll see the funny side. France maybe won't. That's the difference between getting 34 and 44. But if I don't take that, I won't be able to get around these provinces, which is kind of important. Yeah, I'm almost at my admin point cap, but I'll instantly be spending it on Porto, so that's not a big deal. And the way it's going, I might even be doing it on Beira. I don't know, I just, I like Galicia. I'm just not sure if I like, like them. Hmm, it's not like me to be so indecisive. Uh, the religious unity is hurting Granada. If I'd known it was going to be this way, I probably would have been uh, better to gobble them up and then spit them out as a va as a vassal, so they'd be Catholic. You know what? Galicia seldom gets the glory. Let's just give them the land. Four and seven is eleven, and seven is eighteen, and six is twenty-four. That's just below the overextension cap. <laughs> They'll probably have a real hard time coring it, since they're relatively new and their admin tech is garbage. But their stability is plus one, so they will core it. I want Porto, however. It's very important that I take Porto. Need that trade. Trading Pope. Represent. Rather than taking your money, I would rather take war reparations so it's a constant thorn in your side. It's also good to know that I can vassalize you later on. That way I won't have to chase you down. I could just vassalize you and integrate you. 
I mean, you, you would hate that. But fortunately, your concerns are uh, not mine. We also have unjustified uh, demands. All right. Okay, so it took a wee while to even figure out what I'm doing there, but that'll do. Hmm. Should be breaking their alliances instead of taking their money. What's more important, Aragon or uh, England? Aragon's less of a threat now. I'd rather England never got involved again. Yeah, because England were a real pain. At least Aragon is right here. I can deal with them. Let's get England out of the picture. Boom. That feels pretty good. And that's a different uh, kind of rebel, so I shouldn't even have to deal with uh, any kind of autonomy. Alright, let's get you folks back. And now, for good reason. And you've got the Maneuver General. Please get home and deal with this guy. Not sure how exactly we're going to deal with him. Oh, that's right. Humiliation. No, the Aragonese Portuguese alliance isn't a big deal right now. Because I can do this. Aragon loved me for some unknown reason. Alright. Thankfully, we just kept France on the good side of hating us. So let's keep those relations up. Portugal are hostile, so they will not join the coalition. <laughs> England... Yeah, those relations need to go up. Aggressive expansion management. You might get a lot of AE, but if you just keep relations high, you won't have to worry about it. And that is why I prefer diplomatic over um, influence. That extra uh, diplomat makes a huge difference. Having an embassy also makes a huge difference. I would like that too. I would not like any expensive merc scum in my territory. Lovely jubbly. Let's keep Aragon sweet while we're at it, since I did brutalize one of their best friends. And we're gonna have a navy to remake. Jake, remember to defend Galicia. That's why we have uh, this land route. What's also great is that I can fabricate a claim on Lisboa. Let's get straight on that whilst they still don't want to join a coalition against me. And yeah, I think we'll be vassalizing Portugal next so that we don't have to worry about them making colonial... Well, we will still have to worry about colonial nations, but if we just integrate them as quickly as we can after vassalizing them, which might be, you know, extremely difficult with that aggressive expansion, we'll be looking at 200. Maybe I should just annex them. It's not like they can have too much of a navy now. Yeah, maybe we will just annex them. Poor Castile getting ravaged. Claims on Castile probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. But it's this land that I need. Then they'll be permanently out of the col uh, colonization race. Unless they have a finished colony around here. It's hard to tell. Do bankrupt nations stop doing their colonies? Who's to say? Alright. Give me back my gloriously well-deserved land. Mill points cap with diddly to spend it on. Let's get ourselves a new channel. Oh, well, I suppose I can hard-treat as well, can't I? Andalusian patriots. Western tech problems. Help, I'm teching too fast. Alright, so it's not even been 40 years. I'd say we've done pretty good as the Pope. Better relations over time. This is one of the main reasons that I love to have uh, active... Well, I say active. Uh, privateers. Where are you meant to be privateering? I suppose it cares me not. Let's get all of our boats back over to Rome, and yeah, 
one thing we're going to need are more cogs because we'll be transporting troops between Iberia and Italy. <laughs> 